My name is Michaela Turcott, and I'm here reporting on this upcoming presidential election. With the presidential election just a day away, Governor Mitt Romney and President Barack Obama are ratcheting up the television campaign ads in crucial swing states, hoping to sway voters. However, to get an early indication of which way voters may be leaning, one needs to look no further than the latest social media. And here are some videos to show you what's going on. Now, let me tell you the facts are. The facts are, Congressman, that one million people are at work who wouldn't have been, 200,000 in jobs. The facts are, Governor Romney wrote an editorial entitled, Let Detroit Go Bankrupt. The facts are that Romney will say anything, anything to win. And as the Cleveland Plain Dealer put it, he will vote. Let's start with you. Do you have X factors in your pocket? Something we haven't thought of. Yeah, I think there's two things, actually. And I think there's always a surprise on election night. And, you know, obviously we don't know what that is. But I think two things to look at. The first is Arizona. I think nobody's targeted Arizona. It's, it's a state that Mitt Romney thinks he's going to win automatically. But it's a state that wasn't carried overwhelmingly by John McCain. But I think the rise of the Hispanic population, how badly Mitt Romney's doing it, could be close. I don't think he's going to carry it, the president. But it could be very close on election night. So I'd watch that. The other thing that I'd take a look at is the third parties in this, which means that the third parties, if they take two or three percent of the vote in some states, could lead a state to one or the other. That percentage means somebody could win a state with 49 percent of the vote and not 50 percent of the vote. So watch the third parties in some of these states like Virginia and Florida, some of the close states, a third party could push it to one side or the other. Yes, we haven't been talking about those third party candidates still all. out there going to door. Both campaigns are counting on Ohio and its 18 electoral votes on election night. The president needs Ohio to hold on to his Midwestern firewall. Mitt Romney needs Ohio because without it, the math for him is very difficult, which is why we discovered a frenetic pace as we were allowed inside both campaigns working on the ground here today to get out the vote. Governor Romney here in Cleveland today. Tonight, his campaign says their ground game is well ahead of John McCain's four years ago. President Obama rallying his supporters in Cincinnati tonight. Polls here in Ohio showing a slim lead for the president. And tonight, the newest ABC News Washington Post poll, and it shows why getting out the vote across this country and right here in Ohio will make all the difference Tuesday. President Obama ahead by just one point tonight. And look at the map. Heading into the weekend, Governor Romney making 14 stops in seven battleground states. The president, 14 stops in eight states. And nowhere have they been more than Ohio. As the candidates crisscross battleground states, it's as if they're on different planets. Both campaigns claim victory is within reach. Their pitches combinations of soaring rhetoric and needy cries to not buy what the others are selling. He's hoping we'll settle. Americans don't settle. We build, we aspire, we dream, we can do better. Their bet is on your cynicism. But Florida, my bet is on you and your hope. To appeal to undecided voters sick of D.C. dysfunction, both candidates are cloaking themselves in bipartisan robes. I'll endeavor to find those good men and women on both sides of the aisle who care more, th more about the country than they do about, about politics. I want all parties to work together. You know, we're not Democrats or Republicans first, we're Americans first. And as a sign of just how close the Obama campaign thinks this could be, the president today appeared in New Hampshire, which has only four electoral votes. What an exciting election and close race. This concludes my report on this upcoming election. Thank you and have a great day.